died from fall damage by taking 10 steps. So what are we talking about? Dead Island. Uh, yeah, Dead Island. Oh, the zombie game. Yeah. He was curious if it was worth playing. I say yes, uh, especially since it's like $2 now. Yeah. It's, it's kind of an old game. I played like the first... I want to say the first act of it, like where you're at the beach. and Oh, before you go into the city? Yeah. And that was fun for that part of the game. And then it stopped being fun. So yeah, un- unfortunately the the second act where you're just in a city is the and then it gets good again when you're in a jungle and then that's pretty good. Yeah, like at about the part where you get to the city, melee weapons stop being worthwhile and that was the fun of the game. Like you have it had this analog, analog sk- uh, swing control where you could control where your character would swing the weapon so you could like lop off limbs like specifically aim to do so and that was amazing that was my favorite part of the game and, yes Lazar talked about that yeah. yeah and then everything was guns and the game was not fun anymore so guns you couldn't even use again that ammo cap was really restrictive like you could get yourself out of one fight with a full slew of ammo and then you'd be out yeah not to mention playing as characters that have a melee focus well, they're kind of fucked in the like mid to late game aren't they so that's it depends if you're the only character that's really super viable solo is sam b who one he's super annoying and two uh he, he's a a blunt expert so like sledgehammers and stuff and then you just have to mod the most broken combo you can and survive off of status effects like shock and an explosion and stuff like that hmm yeah, I I played as the Japanese woman that was good with, like, slashing weapons. Because, you know, that was the fun, was chopping off limbs and such. Yeah. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, uh, unless you have a... You're playing uh, co-op with someone and you have a Sambi to take most of the stuff and then you're kind of an assist, your weapons are just going to break <clears throat> as, the, as anyone who uses sharp weapons. Their durability is so low. Yeah. But yeah, it's fun for those first, like, six to eight hours, which is pretty Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I would, uh, considering the, the price of the game now, that is absolutely worth it. Just those, that first area alone. And then if you want to go into the guts of the game and mod your movement speed to be a little higher and mod your ammo cap to be infinity, then you can just <laughs> skate around with guns. It's great. Yeah. That sounds enjoyable. It really is. Of course, there's no challenge left in the game. I mean, at that point, you're fast with the, like, the sprinter zombies. So your biggest danger is actually running into walls. Yeah, but that sounds like its own kind of fun to me. That sounds like, hey, samurai lady leveled up pretty high, so now she is a ninja. <laughs> That's like, okay, I'm down. Uh, so... I guess now that while well, Kenshi is answering a call is a good time to actually do the intro for the podcast. So hello everybody and welcome to the Fan Podcast. How long podcast. have you been recording? Uh, since I came back. Oh, because well, yeah. fair enough. Okay then. Yeah. So uh, I'm Casey. How we going? You doing? You doing? You doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sisa is also here. Hey, what's up? The internet really likes the new Pokemon trainer. Like, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. She... Which is not unexpected. That seems to happen every time at least a new female trainer. Yeah. I, I assume, to be clear, we're talking about the assistant lady. The ginger one. Uh, Sonya, yeah. Yeah. So Sorry that's, about that. That's alright. Um... Yeah, Slice is here, and Patient will be here uh, anon, I guess. When when he can get here, he's he's busy doing something else, which was unfortunate for Anime Reflux. Um, oh, yeah. And also, of course, with us... No. <laughs> you don't even know what I was going to do. I know exactly what you're going to do. I can hear the grin in your face. Like... like 
Just, just go for it. Go for it. He can't stop you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one half of our CWF mid Atlant is it mid Atlantic? I think it's mid Atlantic. Uh, tag team champion, Mister. I don't know which name to use. Bellamy Koga. Yeah, Bellamy Koga. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. Is he done? You're alternating between muting and deafening yourself. <laughs> Is he done? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm You're done. Good. You weathered the storm. <laughs> cool. I weathered it by sticking your head into the sand so you didn't have to hear the storm and hoping it would go away. But yes, you weathered it. Work for okay. David Jones. I, I, I guess, yeah. I mean, you stuck yourself in that fridge. You occasionally peeked out, but you did it. Hmm. And patient is here now. I don't know whether he's still busy, but he is in the call. I am free for the moment. Yay! Let's let's get this out of the way because we can't not talk about this for the for the, however long it's going to take. Kenshi, that match was legit as fuck. <laughs> that was good. It was. I was awesome. actually able to watch one for once. That was yeah. awesome. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That shit was long. Yeah, it uh, was. Yeah. yeah. By, the, by the way, the the match we actually saw. What? How long had you been wrestling by that point? You looked exhausted. Uh, the fucking match was okay. I'll say it by doing this. Like halfway through, I was, felt tired as fuck, and I was like, "Why am I tired? <laughs> I don't understand. I trained so I specifically so I don't get tired. Why am I tired?" And then the end of the match came, and the dude announced 59 minutes, 18 seconds. I was like, I, was like, I audibly said, like, what? <laughs> it was like, out loud while the music was playing. Because <laughs> I, I was supposed to be excited because we just won the titles and everything. And he said, 59 minutes. And I out loud was like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was a great show. I, like, watched from the beginning because I was like, it's Ken on this? I feel like Ken's on this one. Um, Yeah, that was a great show start to finish. Including where you jumped in on that other match, which was fun. Yeah. One story. I had little to no idea what was going to happen in my actual match because the entire time they were talking about that match, I was interfering in the match before. Hmm. So I oh, was so you weren't, you weren't no. plan, basically? P- pretty much no. All I knew was, hey, you're winning. Cool. I'll figure out the rest as we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can put the pieces together to figure out what needs to be done where. Yeah. So that 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 was, yeah, we were literally just, liter- basically everyone in the Discord was just watching that live. And it was just awesome. And Yeah, we, I, I, we, I, 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 I we may have I mean, go to your channel and you get the play by play of it. <laughs> yep. You did. You did. Here's the thing about that. After the show, uh, my friend, who was a wrestler, was also watching it. He wasn't there. He was. He's a, he wrestled somewhere else. But he was watching on Twitch and he was like, Yeah, dude, that was great. Like, you had a lot of support in Twitch, in the Twitch chat. And I was like, Really? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I assume like your heart dropped into your stomach. Like, no, because oh, no. I didn't. No, I was confused at the time. I was like, I didn't know I was that popular. And then I went on there and I was like, oh. That oh, makes a lot sparks. of sense. <laughs> these motherfuckers. Hey, that ben Bellamy Koga could write a mean pirate story. Thanks for you. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I, I look like I can write a mean pirate story. I'm pretty sure everyone else is like, what is he talking about? <laughs> what? No context. Except that the rest of you that were in that chat. No, I, I was actually going to ask you if you uh, if it was the plan to just get your ass kicked. You spent a lot of that match just getting beat around. It wasn't the plan, but like there was an extended portion where the good guys got beat on. So at the start, you got to give them something. Got to make them look good. Yeah. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I think I think I just saw the last match, so I didn't see any of the the stuff before that. Yeah, like made for a good story. You know, you you got your ass kicked for like half an hour, and then <laughs> and then you back the fuck out of the ring. The good guys go in, and 
everyone kicks their asses for like half an hour and everyone gangs up on them. And then you it's, steal the win. That's a good like story. A it's like a shonen fight. Yeah. So I'm not making the good, good guy look good. Bad guy takes over. And then whatever the ending is, is the ending. And then the bad guy is a sore loser and breaks the leg of one of the good guys. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. What is that thing, by the way? I know it's not a steel pipe. I mean, it is a pipe. Is it? Oh, it is? it is? It is a pipe. Oh, well, fair enough. He carries a pipe. That was that was hidden inside my jacket the whole match. Wow. That feels like a health hazard, but I mean, uh, so does wrestling as a whole. So fair enough. Yeah, I mean, again, I watched the whole thing and Slicer didn't see this, but a couple matches before that. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? There was a match, like two matches before mine in intermission. Uh. There was, it went 40 minutes, and there was lots of weapons and blood, so much so they had to change the canvas out during intermission. Jesus. And fun fact, that dude that was bleeding in that match, he kind of almost died. Oh. oh. Yeah, he lost a lot of blood, and it was hot as shit in that building. Not that, a good combination. That was real blood. Yeah. It's real blood. It's always real blood. Whew. Okay. The bag of thumbtacks? Is that what you're talking about? Because I know you mentioned that. Yep. That was also a thing and it was real. Oh, okay. And here's the thing about that that makes that even more fun. When you take thumbtacks, you're supposed to land on them. So that they go inside. When they go in you, they don't really hurt. They don't really hurt that bad. It's like the pincushion effect. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But uh, he didn't go on them so much as he kind of slid across. Mm. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Stabbing you and twisting as they spin. Oh. Yeah. So I got a good look at that when he came back. I'm imagining cheese. Like It really wasn't that bad. It was okay. like... Uh, it was like someone scratched him across the back a hundred times where he landed. Uh, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was when I first saw it. When I first saw him slide, I was like, oh, God, he slid. That can't be good. Is and that one of those things where it's it just it bleeds a lot, but the damage is actually not that bad? What, for the thumbtacks? Yeah. Or, thumbtacks don't what, bleed much at all. <laughs> what, what are you guys talking about that bled so much? His head. Yeah, he got bashed in the head a bunch. Oh. Yeah, he bled more than he wanted to. Uh, and he was fine when he got back at first, but uh, it was hot as shit. And uh, not really good when you lose a lot of blood. So he was also dehydrated and whatnot, because he went 40 plus freaking minutes. And uh, kind of had to call an ambulance after the show, because he couldn't really stand up and walk. Dude. He agreed to get his ass beat? For real? Yes. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> Y'all look fucking crazy. I'm not doing that shit anytime soon, kid. I, uh... You just said not anytime soon. That's not a no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it won't ever happen. I'm just saying it probably won't be to that degree when it does. That's good, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mind bleeding. <clears throat> doesn't really bother me. Well, yeah, bleeding is not that bad. It's and the thumbtacks, as long as I can freaking make sure I land in them flat instead of sliding across them, I don't mind that either. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a fun night until I realized that it was real. I, like, <laughs> you hear the whole wrestling is... like. You know, full disclosure, that was the first time I've actually watched a wrestling show, like, as a wrestling show. And, um, yeah, you hear wrestling is fake all the time, and you assume, unless something goes drastically wrong, it's all fake. Like, the blood, eh, doesn't really happen. Someone gets slammed on their back on the top of a ladder, and, you know, they're doing something, some chicanery to make that less horrifying than it probably would actually be. And nah. 
Yeah. <clears throat> there was so much shit in that match. So I was like, why? Why are you doing this to yourself? Hmm. Why are you agreeing to do this? One dude got power slammed on his chair that was set up. Yep. An open folding chair and just slammed on both points of it. Like on on the edge of the seat and on the top of it. I have, a fun, I have, I have another fun fact for you. <laughs> there was supposed to be more. There was going to be more. There was going to be a bullwhip used. Wow. I don't okay. like your fun facts, Kenji. <laughs> It was there. Was, it was an idea until like before the show, when one of the dudes was like, "Hey, Ken, watch this!" Whap! And I was like, "He's not gonna do that." And then he got there, and the dude showed him the bullwhip and used it. And he was like, "Yeah, I'm not doing that." Yeah, that is smart. Yep, yeah, those generate some pretty extreme force if you know how to <clears throat> use them right. So, yeah, yeah, that was my Saturday. Was it also your Sunday recovering? Uh, I did not spend Sunday recovering. I spent Sunday training, which was a bad idea because I was very fucking tired. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't really recover until Tuesday. Uh. But it was worth it because I got a belt now, God damn it! Yeah. So, we'll get back to Kenji, but we really did need to just go through that because that could not be held off. Uh... Patient, are you with us? I am. How are you doing, Patient? Aside from the fact that I haven't eaten since yesterday morning, I could be... I'm well enough. Mm. Probably just going to get myself a nice bit of lunch after this podcast is over. Good idea. So for what I've been up to, first of all, sorry for taking so long that I missed the Anime Reflux show. My parents are renewing their vows the day after tomorrow, and there's a lot of preparation that needs to be done. Oh. I, I was in the prepper. I was in the process of going through my parents' wedding album and painstakingly scanning every single photograph into mm. the computer so as to so as my brother can assemble it into a slideshow. I'm not actually finished with that either. There are only nine pictures left, but I, the scanner seems to have mutinate on me, so I'm going to finish it up later. Mm. Aside from that, Persona 5 has still been occupying a lot of my attention. I've reached the boat. Oh, so you're close to the end. Well, yeah. rel- relatively speaking. Wow. You yeah, got I'm, to where I stopped. I'm really hoping that I can max out all of my confidants in the time I have left. I still have seven that aren't story-driven to take care of. I am yeah. actually not sure if this is a game where you can do that. You yeah, can. You can. I did, but I you needed can. a guide to do that. Oh. You can do it with help. Jerk. Yeah, like... Yeah. There, was, there was shit I wanted to finish. Yeah. If you finish the last dungeon, it will stop the game. You will no longer be able to do any stuff. Okay, so like the casino, you need to wait until the last minute to send the calling card? Yes. If memory serves... Yes, you absolutely cannot do anything after you fight that dude. On the Wait. Or was it that it doesn't let you finish it until Christmas Eve? I can't remember. No, you, can, you cannot do anything after you beat the dude. Oh, okay, yeah. So I was right, just making sure. Because I didn't want to give bad advice. That would be bad. No, I remember that specifically because I was pissed about it. I was like, I got a whole... I thought, I thought, wait, what's happening? I was so confused. Well... Worst case scenario, I start the new game plus and do it right the second time. Oh, yeah, but there was stuff I wanted for new game plus that I didn't get to get to. Me throw this out there. Sona Five R is coming out beginning of next year. R what? Uh, I think that the Persona games do is they do an updated re-release sometimes. Uh, like Persona 3 had Fess, uh, Persona 4 had the Golden, and this one has the Royal, Persona 5, the Royal, which is an updated version of the game, 
that has a bunch of extra stuff added to it. Like, it massively changes the end of the game, apparently, uh, oh. and adds another confidant and party member and probably so, a bunch of other stuff that we don't know about yet. You mean Haru is going to go even further to the back of the bus? <laughs> Poor Haru. If they're adding in another confidant, then it has to be someone who embodies the world. And that's... They, that just is overpowered. There are alternates. Like, the tarot has an alternate deck called the Thoth deck, which has slightly different arcana. Like, Judgment is replaced with Aeon, which Judgment represents uh, Judgment by humanity, and Aeon represents Judgment from outside of humanity. Interesting. So, for the past cool. two games, Aeon has been represented by inhuman characters. Like, uh, three, it was Igis, who was a robot, and four, it was Marie, who was uh, complicated. <laughs> I was actually waiting for an answer on that one, because I didn't play <clears throat> that one, and I have no idea what the fuck she is, aside from kind of visually annoying. Complicated. <laughs> like, I, you know, people might play Persona 4 that haven't played it before. So That's I fair. I, I really should get Golden and just play through it. I mean, we are in kind of a gaming slump right now, as me and Kenshi discussed earlier. I'm not sure if that part was on recording. But uh, there's no games right now. Not really. Yeah. yeah, we but had yeah, a conversation I, like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I too am waiting for uh, R to come out. Uh, I could just replay Persona 5 right now. Uh, I would definitely want to start over because I just I haven't played in so long. But I'm just going to hold out for Royal. I, I'm still probably going to go for the new game plus, but now I'm definitely interested in getting Persona 5 Royal. But what console is it for? PS4. Same. Okay, good. If it was for an Xbox console, I would have had to just let it go. I've never had any of those in my life. And yeah. I don't think there's any... ever been a Shin Megami Tensei game at all on Xbox. That's not a thing. It's always yeah, been PlayStation. Certainly not as an exclusive, and I don't think even as a port. All right, then. One other thing. Hmm? Going by process of elimination for the Deadly Sins... The boat is supposed to be sloth. How does that make sense? He's letting everyone like his. The idea of the boat is basically this dude just let this dude be in charge of everything. Uh, you know, and, and don't think and worry about it. Like it's the sloth of everyone else, I guess. Okay. Be the sheep. It does. It does yeah. make sense when you put it that way. All right. Let me see. Yeah. I I struggle with that as well because I'm pretty sure there's eight. Of, of the dungeons, and that's not the right number. Okay. Alright, so let me see here. We've got, um... Well, Persona 5 has pretty much cemented its place as my favorite game at this point, but we'll see how I feel once I've finished it. So is there any... Uh, of course, there's something else. With too much bad luck facing me, I've given in. Oh, I'm God. You went back. Mm. I resume work at RBC on Monday. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. If nothing else, it'll... I mean, it's better to be job searching while you have a paycheck than not. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's true. And Plus, I, I assume they're still desperate enough that they can't be mad at you for job searching while you're helping them out by going back to work for them when they have no staff. Doubtful, yeah. Plus, apparently in order to take out a mortgage loan or something like that, at least one person in the States needs to have a stable source of income. And as Zom and Hornet are out of state at the moment. Mm. They have stable incomes, but it doesn't qualify. So once I resumed work for a few weeks, we can finally resume progress on getting a place of our own. Yeah. So that'll be good. That'll be nice. Yeah. Um, I... I wish you the best in that. My family's been struggling to find a, a place to, to move into for quite a while now. So, 
It's, it's a struggle. I, well, the longer it takes, the longer we'll have to build up our savings accounts to get a better loan for it. That is a oh, good way to uh, look at it. Yeah. You may wish to uh, look into ways to rapidly increase your credit. There are a lot of ways to do that that are not that difficult. It's just a matter um, of finding them. I'm well aware. IBC, I'm in. the bank that I work at actually offers one uh, a special credit card that is designed to help you increase your credit score. Yeah, Once. basically just putting everything on credit and then immediately paying off kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, they offer some quality products. It's just their mindsets towards getting ugh, it's just their mindset towards profits that repulses me but fairly predatory yeah but I'll, I'll do what I have to do for now and if it increases my credit score then so much the better yeah All right. so yeah I'm, I am going to try getting fairs days off from now on so we'll still be able to do it on Thursdays if that's still the most convenient day for us. All right. Uh, we'll see how that works out. If it doesn't work out, we'll figure something else out. Like Sunday seems mostly available past a certain point for everyone. So, And Sunday is the only day that I can guarantee that I'll always have off. Yeah, so... Okay. There are mm -hmm. options, that's all. Well, time for another show-stealing topic. Who saw the Pokemon Direct? I didn't watch it, but I've seen the fallout from it. Fallout? Y yeah, R Rule 34 kicked in pretty damn fast. Oh, yeah. Bad fallout. Also, every everyone loves that fucking sheep. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty cool sheep. I'm down with the sheep. Yeah, it's become I, the new spirit animal of everyone. I, I like sheep a lot, and they haven't had one since the Mareep family, which was another very well loved Pokemon. Yeah, I represent Wales and have an all sheep team. That's <laughs> it's probably gonna. I don't know whether w w whatever it's called has like two of all forms, but if it only has one, I can slap a go goat in there, and we'll just call it done. It's good enough. Close enough. Yeah. Wooloo, I believe it was. Wooloo. Wooloo. Honest, honestly, though, I love the sheep. Corviknight seems a lot more interesting to me. That's the crow, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 pretty, I'm pretty hype on that crow. That's a pretty good crow. Oh, nice. It's a pretty badass looking crow. I mean, yeah. It's a total edgelord, but still. Haunch crow, eat your heart out, basically. <laughs> Yeah, and I wish Crow's Crow a evolved bitch. into this thing. <laughs> and what of the elephant in the realm? There's an elephant? Hmm. <clears throat> well, they haven't introduced one yet, but I'd like one. We haven't had one since Dawn Fan. An elephant would be a weird pick Choice for Britain. British. If it was Africa, absolutely, but no, not for not for the British Isles. More, more squirrels would be okay. I'd be okay with that. Hedgehogs. Mm. That would actually be really cool. Yeah, squirrel like, Pokemon? Yeah, like a red squirrel. That'd be good. Like, just represent them before they all get killed by the grey squirrels, because that's a thing that's happening. Pachirisu. But Pachirisu was like a chipmunk or something. Wasn't that to Dene? I don't, dude, I don't know. Choke it in Mario. Look it up, because I think we have to do... Yeah, Pachiri Sui is a squirrel. Or squirrel-like. Yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes. And Imolga. Flying squirrel. Yeah. Which reminds me, have we had any moose Pokemon yet? Yeah. We had Stantler. 
and that was a that was a deer, which is as close as I think we've gotten. Uh, Stantla, that's literally it. There is a moose in Bulbapedia for some reason. I'm gonna look into. I think that's a person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's from one of the films about Giratina. There was a character <laughs> named Moose. I mean, I've heard the name Moose before in Japanese works. Yeah, maybe one, one wonders about the etymology of that name in a world without mooses. Moose. Uh-huh. A dude, a dude named Moose. <laughs> Is he big? <laughs> Are there any, are moose or any sort of animal like that common in the United Kingdom, Casey? Uh, I think deer might be in certain places, but, you know, not common enough to see on the regular. I don't think so. Hmm. UK Uh, has no animals. Oh, dead. I, I, I expect us to get some foxes, though. Foxes definitely can be a thing. Must be a thing. Yeah, foxes are always welcome. Nine Tails was great. Brakeson was... Uh, the Fennekin family was nice. Though, have we had any non-fire foxes, aside from the Alolan Vulpix family? I don't think so. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. We should work on that and have, like, dark foxes for Britain because <laughs> everyone kind of fucking hates them. Oh, that's sad. Well, <laughs> they eat all of the chickens. That's kind of a problem. It's pretty... Oh, well, well fair enough. Okay, give an actual legitimate reason. Here, they're just kind of an oddity. They don't really... <laughs> yeah. Fox, fox hunting was a, was a sport invented mostly out of necessity originally. It's not so much necessity now, but it was at one time. So now I'm picturing Del Fox versus Blaziken. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, and, the- and oh, and uh, uh, fucking oh, what's the name of the dog with the giant fucking mustache beard thing? Uh, we had one. What? <laughs> Don't remember. Furf, no, no, no. Stoutland? Yeah! Have one of those just jump in and the bricks. Because that's, you know, how that goes. <laughs> yeah. We need... <laughs> These are good ideas for DeviantArt, is what they are. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's going to be a good game. I'm looking forward to that game. I need. I need to play things on my Switch again is a thing I say very often, but never end up doing. <laughs> and now, of course, what I was referring to when I said the elephant in the room was the new mechanic. The centerpiece of the gym matches, so it seems. Dynamaxing, I believe. I don't know. Oh, is, oh, is that the, that's the thing where they make him giant, right? Is that the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Kaiju Pokemon. I'm alright with this. Hey, Zero. Hey. What's up? Yeah, we're talking about the new Pokemon. Currently about how they're making monsters grow. Because, you know, giant Pokemon thing. Look, I'm so excited for the new Pokemon. Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. Because there's, there's open world areas with a free camera that you can actually move for once. And there's Kaiju. Yes. Like, it looks. You're kind of struggling there, Zero, with the connection. Uh, the uh, server region. Maybe that's the thing. I think the server region is the U.S., to be honest. Yeah, part of the U.S. 
East Coast, I think. Uh, Maybe make it Central. See if it... Random thing. To do. Also, there's an update ready apparently because that's, you know, always tiny. And what are our thoughts on Zacian and Zanazenta? The two left. I, I like Sif from Dark Soul. What? What? Nam sequitur? Why? I mean, oh. Sif from Dark Souls is a giant wolf that has a sword in its mouth. Okay. Yes, and in this game, you can make the wolf giant, and the wolf also has a sword in its mouth. I see. So yeah. excited. Like I was, I, I was not that excited about Pokemon um, until this last. Uh, I did. Oh boy, zero. Yeah, we didn't hear a word of that. God. Let me try. Mm. Yeah. You with us? That's an hour. Anyway. So, yeah. Pretty excited about the Pokemon. Still trying to keep the show going okay. while Zero is tries. Uh, yeah, I think so. Deal is. Nope. Red mm. bar. Uh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Well, I don't think that there's anything else noteworthy for me. No recommendations either. Mm. Not for lack of looking, but actually, zero. <sighs> yeah, zero recommendations. But I might, I might have one. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before. I'll scroll up in the chat. It'll be written somewhere if I have. So, yeah. If you do like Control F and you can search through you, for what you're looking for. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's that's my week. Just doing what I have to do. Mm. Oh yeah, and with one of our dogs having been put to sleep a while back, and the other one in kind of failing health, my mother is considering getting kittens. I'll keep you posted. Kittens. Yay. Yes. Little cats. Yay. Cat calicos are lovely. I just wanted to mention them. Uh, <laughs> okay. Last, 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 last chance, Zero. Let's do a sound test. Okay. Hey. Mm -mm. Sorry, dude. Hey, boy. Thank you for trying, Zero, but I think it's not going to happen today. I just heard him screaming intelligibly. <laughs> uh, I heard happy barn, and I'm not sure what that means, or if I heard him wrong. I have three bars. Full green bar. Uh, it should be working. Okay. It's better now. Actually. It's good now. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I don't know what the deal is. I honestly don't. Alright. Um, I'll go next, because fuck it, why not? Uh, I watched Ken's match. That was pretty good. We talked about it to death, though. So, that's, you know. Um, I have been, you know... Uh, I bought Devil May Cry 5, because I'm sick of waiting for it, and it was on sale. So, you know, that's a thing I have now that I will play when I feel like I have time. Uh, before I was, before I bought that, I was uh, playing more Assassin's Creed 4, and it has started to annoy me because it's, you know, still that traversal mechanic that doesn't really work well. Mm. Deciding to climb up every surface 
that he possibly fucking can, especially when I don't want him to. So. Oh, um, is it a Breath of the Wild problem? Yeah, he's just running through, and it wants you to dive through in the middle of some trees, and instead he will run directly at the tree, and then try and climb up it, and then you will try and course correct to go through the trees, and he will just run up the tree again, and again, and again, and... Yeah. Uh, some some bits have come off my controller in entirely unrelated news. Um, so... <laughs> um, I also had a dentist appointment. Well, a hospital appointment, technically, for the dentist. I think I mentioned it last week. Uh, I did not make it to that appointment. Uh, did you perhaps know that yesterday was Eid? I don't the- know what that is. It is a yeah, Islam know. holiday. Mm-hmm. Or, as far as I'm concerned, it's a taxi driver holiday. Because I couldn't get a taxi for love no money. <laughs> ah. So the taxi I booked didn't show up. And on calling for one, they tell me it would be a 40 minute wait. When my appointment is in half an hour. Oh, well, great. So, yeah. Is, is Uber not a thing? Uh, Uber is so not a thing that, one, I'm in a tiny city that doesn't really have Uber as a thing, as far as I'm aware. And also, they are in terrifying legal battles with, like, taxi companies. who are like, no, you can't be a thing here because you're destroying taxi companies, <laughs> is basically the crux of the argument. So, Yeah. That's, uh, yep, so had to reschedule that appointment, so that is now middle of next month, because, you know, I needed more time to just sit and worry about having my teeth pulled out, that's, uh, great. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got, which is why I said, fuck it, I'll go next. Uh, I don't think, uh, no, uh... Mine's going to be even shorter, if you can believe that. Sure, why not? And then we'll do zero, because I don't know how long... I hope it's going to work a bit better now. It seems to be okay. Okay. Yeah. Saiso, how's it? Uh, I started watching Letterkenny at work. What the hell is that? uh, It's a show about a very small town in uh, Canada, although it's kind of implied to be like Kentucky at first. But then it's, yeah. Then they start talking about, like, poutine and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so that that was kind of a, an odd discovery. didn't realize Canadians had hicks. But uh, everyone in the town is either, I, they all have names for them, but it's basically a, a country bumpkin, uh, a rave kid, or a hockey player. Which should probably have been an indicator that it was Canadian, since they have hockey players. But, mm. uh... And those three, and the three, the stereotypes that dominate their lives, and it's it's pretty funny. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a Hulu exclusive, though, so if you don't have Hulu, unfortunately, you can't watch it. Mm. Yeah, if you don't have Hulu, then fuck you. Basically, yeah. I don't have Hulu. Oh, that's sad. I think it was an exclusive for something else because at the start of every episode, it's, it says like a a Crush original program or something like that, Crush TV or something like I don't know. It's probably a Canadian TV station, something. That is certainly um, possible. For a network. But uh, that series is a lot of fun. I would definitely suggest checking it out. Uh, at the start slate of every episode, there's like a little skit thing, and it usually has the main character holding a dog. Mm. Adorable German Shepherd. Like full-grown German Shepherds. Like the main character is kind of a beef, beefy guy. And I mean, he's just holding them like babies. I held my German Shepherds all the time. But I had them. They yeah. were huge. I feel your pain. They're great. And that that is the extent of my week. Uh, It's been that. I go home and I play some Let It Die or I do some reading. So I I do actually have a recommendation this week. Woo! Yay! I should probably get that up because I did finish reading it. Zero! What's that? Uh, What's that? Um, So uh, this weekend, um, going on a cruise... For a week. 
So I'll be out uh, next week. Uh, looking forward to being on boat and, and then just playing video games in room on boat. <laughs> okay. Um, or, or going out to the library on the boat or like they have all sorts of, I, I like the plays that they have, but, um, aside from that, um, apparently my luck is ridiculous. Yeah. With uh, fake go, yeah. It's 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 quite literally unbelievable. Yeah. And I don't understand. I think my save file is cursed, or blessed rather. I got two five stars and two four stars in a single pull. Plus the four star craft essence, and then freaking. Uh, I I did a three pull. Uh, yesterday, and I got Ibaraki, and then I did another ten pull today, and I got Raiko. So, I'm, mm. Mm. just to clarify for people, uh, the chance of getting a five star servant is one percent. The chance of getting a four star servant, I believe, is four percent. So, in ten, he got two five stars. And two four stars. I don't even want to run those numbers to see how unlikely that is. I don't understand what's happening. You are earning the hatred of pretty much everyone in the Gacha channel is what's happening. I am slowly earning everyone's hatred. It's... Terrifying and amazing at the same time. Because, like, I don't even talk about when I do a three-star pull and then I get, like, a five-star craft essence, because that happens a lot. Okay, so here's how this works. People who don't know what you're saying don't care. And people who do know what you're saying hate your guts right now, it mm. seems. That, that's the impression I'm getting. Mm. Yeah, so, basically, um, apparently I have really good luck with lottery games. Time to go gamble. And Casey is hating me. Um, ever since I got that Ishtar on that summon ticket and then Gorgon. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Let, let, me, let me put this in perspective. Me and Ethan have been fighting over getting fucking Ishtar and Gorgon for, like, the past three weeks. And then Zero comes in and on his first attempt of the entire game, gets both of them. I hate. I hate you so much. <laughs> so yeah, what else have we been doing, Zero? Fuckhead. We got a dog. Yay. We got a nice dog over her name. We named her. her name is Maisie. She is so funny and shit. Makes me very happy that she is our good doggo. What's her name again? You start robot there for a second. Maisie. So, Maisie. And she has one ear that kind of flops down. And it's so cute. And and yeah, we rescued her. Um, she's a year and a half old. Trained. So we've been doing that. Very happy with uh, new doggo. Oh. I will take many pictures. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. She's so happy and friendly and excitable. It's great. Um, my last dog, uh, before he passed away, um, he was very quiet and, and very kind of, um, not necessarily like, like he, he was, he, he was, Bother anything from the oh, we're losing you again. Skynet wants a piece of zero. Can't a new term in a movie? Skynet. 
Hey, Zero, hey. Can, can you check whether you need to update anything? There's no update. Okay, I don't know what it is then. It says my connection is perfect. Why? Why? Okay, we will come back to zero. Uh, <laughs> for the time Does being. Does this matter? Yes. Okay. I th weirdly enough, it might have been Steam just ha opening itself up. Mm. All right, keep going. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay, Ken, go. While we okay. Wait. All right. So we talked about the wrestling stuff. Whatever. Let's move on. Uh, saw Godzilla in theaters, and uh, my opinion of that movie is as such: I don't give a shit about your family. I don't care about your drama. I just want to see giant monsters fuck shit up. That is my that is my criteria of Godzilla. I saw Godzilla. And it is good. I I didn't care about sixty percent of that movie. I, the new Godzilla, lots of fighting, is good. But it, there wasn't lots of fighting. It was like, oh, my family is a bunch of scientists, and oh god, and yeah. But did you see the thing where Godzilla just? ripped off the head of the thing and then it was like, ah! Yeah, thanks. Two hours in. Thanks. Appreciate that. Didn't need the hour plus of scientist family drama. I don't care. Make the monsters. Piss off the monsters. Get the fuck out the way. Let the monsters fight. I don't care. React to Godzilla monsters. is like 85% of the movie is human drama. The and I don't care about that. So that's I really hope someone makes like a super cut of this movie that's just the important parts. Yet all I, care about. I don't. I don't. Is everyone else getting the robot stuff? I don't yeah. know sure if this is working. It is absolutely on zero's end. Time to go. I yeah. guess. Have fun on the cruise, Zero. Yeah. Stuff out of here. I didn't understand okay. that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what what uh, you uh, said. Uh, yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> All right. He went out of his way to be on this week. He said he wasn't gonna, and that happens. I don't. Mm. So Godzilla's good. Except for the boring parts that critics apparently loved for some reason. I, I don't know why. I didn't sit my ass in that theater to watch a dude cry about his family and watch a wife cry about, oh, we would save the world. I don't care. Give me monsters. That's why I went there. God. Way more fun at John Wick. It's just me. It's really not just you. I I am actually genuinely confused why critics would like the human aspect of those movies. That is universally the most hated part of those and the Transformers movies. They're just there to provide, I don't know, context or some shit. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Just, just, re just like, <clears throat> set up what's happening and react to what's happening. Don't be like, I don't care that you have to go save your daughter in the middle of loss, and I don't care about any of this shit. I, I, I don't. Focus on Godzilla. Focus on King Ghidorah. What the fuck's Rodan doing? Is Mothra dead? What happened? Give me that. And all these other monsters that didn't do anything but were in the movie. Like, God. You missed what I wanted. I did. I don't care about people. I don't care if it had the fucking uh, Millie Bobby Brown girl from whatever the fuck it's it, whatever the fuck that show is. I don't care. Keep for monsters. You didn't give me enough of that, and I'm sad. 
is it at least better than in previous movies? Such as what? I mean, just previous movies of this type where there's like the A plot you actually care about. And like the, the one with the movies. Jaegers and shit. Yes, uh, Pacific Rim. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> hmm. <clears throat> Honestly, there was more fighting in Pacific Rim, I think. Yeah, you know, makes. I mean, they made the human drama actually part of the giant monster fights in that, so I guess that makes sense. God, I don't recommend it, but that's just for my tastes. I wanted more mayhem in action, and it just makes me sad to think about. <laughs> you know what I want. Thanks to this conversation being happening while there's that on the screen, I want a monster movie with a giant version of Zero's new doggo. That, that's what I want. Okay, what will the dog do? Uh, accidentally rampage around without really thinking about it, like in that one anime that we watched, where it was just giant monsters, but they were just kind of bumbling around doing nothing. It's just being cute and giant. That reminds me of that one. And huggable. I don't remember. All I'm thinking about is like the anime where that cat was a ghost. It was just training to like knock over cars and shit. I don't know why. Uh, oh yeah, watch. that was fucking. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what's the Yo-Kai watch? Yokai watch. Yeah. No, I, I mean the one where there was like a superhero, but he was shit, so he let other people be superheroes, and their oh, job was to fight whatever patient just said. Uh, and they were fighting monsters that were not really monsters and were just kind of there. Like, hey, how's it going? Ah, you killed me, kind of thing. Yeah. I don't remember this. It wasn't very memorable, so that's... It was memorable in the worst possible way. Yeah, let me think. Uh, I'm sure it's, uh, I don't know. All I know is I have one more week of work and then I have a week off, and it's going to be fantastic. Woo. Well, that's uh, we nice. ex- so we can expect to see more of your Let's Plays during that time, I expect. I probably might finish it during that time, depending on what Casey's doing. If he I'm... wants to be in it. I'm rarely doing anything important. Alright. Rarely we'll anything that can't be rearranged is, is we'll the figure, kind of thing. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. Don't forget to bring your Italian accent. Yeah, it's you fun. It was very important. Sorry. I was sleepy. I think that's all I've got, guys. I think that's it. Ooh. Well, that was that's a good that's a perfect long show anyway. So uh I did um, actually have one more thing. Oh uh, cool. So uh my family has game nights occasionally, and I think I'm being bullied by my younger brother. Uh it occurred uh, the last we played um, younger brother? Card game, uh Tyler. Oh, we okay. go much younger one. And uh and I've noticed every time we play, he will forsake any chance of victory just to screw me over uh, hmm. 90% of the attack cards he plays are always aimed at me and it's been like this for like weeks I just hadn't really noticed it <laughs> now that I'm actually like aware of it it really makes uh, gaming boring and not fun with the family so I'm going to have to get to talk to him about it or something it's a weird thing to start doing yeah yeah. It's, I'm not sure if he's doing it on purpose or what but it's does weird. it even make you visibly angry not really at this point, I've just grown so used to expecting it. Like, every time his turn rolls around, I'm going to get screwed over somehow. Boring is almost worse, though. It is, really. Uh, I don't I don't go into a game expecting I'm going to build any kind of momentum at whatever we're playing. Anytime I form a strategy, it just instantly falls apart. It's, yeah. I would be upset about it, but it's since I go into it not expecting to win, it's boring. Hmm. So yeah, that was my odd discovery this week. Hmm. 
Okay, so I guess that's the end of the episode. <laughs> uh, aside for recommendations, which um, Sisa said he had one, and uh, sorry, what patient? It seems that I haven't uh, recommended this one before, actually. Oh, sweet! So we got two. Yeah. Shame on me for not doing so. So this is another story by Nightflower Love. It's one of two quality stories in the Kingdom Hearts section that she's written. Presently, I'm promoting the longer of the two. And by longer, I mean it has two chapters instead of one, I think. It is called, Now I Will Step Forward to Realize This Wish. The premise is a self-insert with the main character, a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts, transported to the beginning of canon by the whim of a Rob looking for some amusement. Except okay, when you say beginning of the canon, where, where do you mean? This is okay, the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. I think we said that at the same time. Transported to the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1 by the whim of a random omnipotent being looking for some amusement, except that said random omnipotent being in this case is the Master of Masters. So, left with little choice but to make the most of her situation, Amanda finds herself befriending Sora, Riku, and Kairi as they build their raft to the outside worlds. But she has little intention of allowing Canon to take its predestined course. So, like I said, there's not much here yet, but it's high quality, and I'm very eager to see where she takes this next. Previously, she was writing a self-insert of this Bites, but it's been discontinued at this point just for a lack of interest. She's not as passionate about One Piece as we are, but she is very passionate about Kingdom Hearts, and so... The Kingdom Hearts series has a decided lack of quality stories, in my experience. That is yeah. a massive understatement. Mm. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll, I might recommend the other one at some point, probably once the next chapter is published. But, as it stands, that's my recommendation for this week, and I very highly recommend it. I like the concept, just for what it represents. Like, the Master of Masters goes through all this effort to make sure he has a way to view all the future events, and he sees all the future events, and he's like, What the fuck is all of this? I'd need to fix I'd something. I don't know. Chuck someone else in there and fix it. I don't fucking... Uh, uh. No. Yeah, not far off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sisa, so your recommendation? Uh, yeah, okay. It's called... Uh, it's a Ruby story called Fight. Uh, it takes part in... What is it? Uh, chapter 4? When the after Beacon Falls and they're, yep. they're Team Ranger for a while. Link. Uh, yeah, one second. And... Um, let's see. They're sparring uh, as a team, look uh, watched over by Oz or Oscar or whatever you want to call him, and Crow. And Crow realizes that John looks really, really angry all the time, uh, but doesn't have the actual skill or the, the technical know how when it comes to combat to use that anger. And so he teaches him how to fight dirty, pretty much. Hmm. And teaches him how to shit talk, which is even more important. Uh,. It's kind of a big theme in this this guy's writing is that everyone's kind of a sarcastic piece of shit, which works out really well. I don't want, I don't want to sell that point wrong. Like everyone has their own distinct personalities. Everyone knows how to sling shit, which is really good. It's also shockingly emotional later on. Uh, this one, uh, fighting mean, and then uh, fighting smart. I think is the what the sequel is called, which is like two hundred thousand words or something. Mm. Uh, are both very good. Uh, Winter is a main character in that one, which is very nice to see. I don't think she gets a lot of uh, character uh, focus in most stories. She was in two episodes, so that's not surprising. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's my recommendation for this week. Cool. All right. So, uh, before we go, we have a thing we need to do, which is 
the Patreon for uh, the month of May. We need to thank people because they're awesome and help and stuff and support us. Yay. So, Patreon. The patri- pa- pa- <sighs> Patreon <laughs> really makes things difficult with their nonsense name. Patreon patrons for the month of May are Ethan F. Donated ten dollars. Thank you, Ethan F. I got Gorgon. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Bomber donated twenty dollars. Uh, he is a cool guy that we had on the podcast recently. Being a cool guy, Kenji wasn't here because he sucks. And, Fuck you. I love you, Bomber. <laughs> uh, Tropa donated five dollars. Thank you, Tropa. You are a very uh, Words are failing me because I'm so grateful is why words are failing me. That's I'm making it a generous positive. person. Thank you. Yeah, generous and reliable supporter of everything we do. So thank you for that. Uh, uh, I, I think that's Ryu. Uh, donated three dollars and fifty cents. The name there is Alex, but I think it's Ryu. I'm not sure. Um, Who's putting weird shit in the Twitch chat? Was it him? Pretty sure it was I him. Mean, it was him, it was Nativo, and it was fucking uh, Fresh is who it was. Fresh still wants that leg, by the way. It's, yeah. Well, that dude's in the hospital now, so he got it. <laughs> uh, Like, really? They didn't yeah, actually didn't... break his leg, right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. So, uh... Great guy, donated a dollar. Thank you, great guy. You're great. I, I appreciate that and stuff. Uh, Fresh donated a dollar, hoping to potentially get that leg, but let's not talk about that anymore. Uh, <laughs> the Crossbrain donated ten dollars. Thank you to the Crossbrain for their continued support. Is reliable and wonderful and good authors and every words as always. Yay. Uh, and uh, Minty donated seven dollars because he wants to donate an odd, strange number, but a lucky one because he wishes us luck is what he's doing there, and that's what I'm gonna believe because that's more fun than thinking he's just being weird for weird sake. So but thank you, Minty. Still, but you'd still be happier with thirteen, wouldn't you? I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so thank you everybody that donated. If you want to donate, there's always a link in the description for uh, the videos. It said uh, Patreon and stuff. So thank you very much. <clears throat> and with that, I guess that closes out the episode. Uh, so I'd like to thank everybody that's in different. Is it? Oh shit! Yeah. It is. I was gonna say two sixty three because that was the number I saw last. Forgetting that's the number I saw last because I opened the fucking previous episode. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's. Mm, uh, brain's not working so great today. Um, if you want to uh, get in t- contact with us, you can so through the YouTube channel in the comments or through our Discord that we have, where we yell at Zero because he's a lucky motherfucker and stuff and. If you want to donate on Patreon, there is a link in the description. Like I say, we appreciate it. It's cool for cool people. Cool people donate to people they like. And you're a cool person, aren't you? You should be. You should do your best to be a cool person and donate to the Patreon. Uh, <laughs> it's got a little magic all of a sudden. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone listening to the Family Flux Podcast episode 264. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you guys. Until next time.